I'm Dr. Pike at Trophy Club Animal Hospital, and this is Amy, my helper today. And this guy is Crosby, um, and he's going to help us demonstrate how to express anal glands. That is something that you guys have commented that you'd like to know how to do at home. Um, and also, we'll talk about the signs that maybe your pet needs his anal glands um, expressed. So, first off, what are anal glands and where are they located? We have a little picture here. Um, <clears throat> so anal glands are, can range anywhere from pea size to grape size depending on how big your dog is and they are located on b both sides of the rectum kind of at the 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock position if you were using like a clock face um, and so they're just on the inside of the anus so you can't see them from the outside um, but that's where they're located. So signs that your dog might need his, his or her anal glands expressed is usually they start scooting their butt on the ground, maybe biting at their butt, um, or maybe you might notice a fishy odor smell. Uh, usually when they go to the bathroom and poop, they will um, push out there and express their own anal glands, but some dogs just have difficulty doing this. Littler dogs don't do it as well. Um, and so often owners will either bring their dogs in to have their anal glands expressed um, or you know take them to a groomer to have them expressed as well. Um, so it's important to have it done because it's just uncomfortable for the animal. Uh, also you know monitoring it because you can get infections so there can be masses there. Um, so regular monitoring of their anal glands is beneficial for their health. So Crosby, there's two ways to express anal glands and we'll talk about both. Um, the first way is called the external method. Um, so here's Crosby. Um, so the anal glands are located here and here where my fingers are. And so if you were going to do the ex external method, um, you would grab just kind of a little pinch of skin, um, a little bit further out than the anal glands, and you would push in and outwards. And see, I expressed a little bit of the anal gland there. Um, so you can do that. A lot of owners would prefer to do that at home. It's less invasive. Um, you know, you don't have to invade your poor dog's privacy. Um, the, another way that you can do it is called the internal method. Um, with this, we like to get a little bit of lubrication. And you just simply go into the rectum with your finger gently, very gently. You don't want to press it. And then you pinch on either side here of the anal gland and you just push outwards and express. And, it, and Crosby's anal glands are pretty full. Make sure you watch out because you can get splashed in the face. <laughs> and so as you see, um, Crosby's is kind of brown. You want it to be very uh, thin. You don't want it to be thick fluid that's difficult to express. Um, you don't want to press too hard if you are trying to express it and the, flu and the discharge is kind of thick. Uh, you might you know, stop and consult your veterinarian because there might be an infection there. Um, and it's going to smell very fishy. That's pretty normal. Um, this color is pretty normal too. You never want to see any blood or like cottage cheese appearance. And so that's how you express anal glands at home. Of course, afterwards, always reward them with a treat. Um, let them know that they did a good job because um, it's not fun. And so everyone wants to have a, a reward afterwards. Um, but if you have any questions or concerns, just let us know in the comments below. And we can always help you out. Have a good Wednesday.